there's a lot of stuff to cover, but uh, the gist of it is terrorism isn't a threat. It's a crime made by psychopathic criminals. It's not a war. When 9-11 happened, I was, I was upset. I was like, how dare they? How dare these people try this terrible thing? But much to my own credit, sorry for patting myself on the back, but a couple of days later, I remembered a story I heard. I don't even remember the name of the town, but there was a town on an island off the coast of the United States someplace, and around the turn of the century, there was a huge hurricane, and it came along and it destroyed the entire city. It wiped everybody off. No one, no one survived. And it was a terrible tragedy, and people were very upset about it. And it was in a couple of newspapers, and about 3,000 people died. Not, not, not to overemphasize it, but nobody else knows what I'm talking about. But this probably really happened. 3,000 people. How can 3,000 people be taken off the face of the earth and not people be upset about it? Oh, it's a force of nature. You can't stop a force of nature. Terrorists are crazy people. You can't stop crazy people from showing up and doing crazy things that don't make any sense. They're not going to be... You're not going to have a world where this sort of thing doesn't happen. Now, on top of that, someone might say, well, it's a threat. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's a threat the same as your average psychopath is of coming in and gunning down everybody in a McDonald's. According to the U.S. government, since the 1960s, when they started keeping track of this sort of thing, the threat of international terrorism... The threat of deaths, the number of deaths worldwide due to international terrorism is in the order of magnitude of about a thousand. Not ten thousand, not a hundred, about a thousand. Nine eleven included. It was a it was a bumper crop year where they got up to uh, four or five thousand people, but by and large, international terrorism accounts for a thousand people dying. I, I, I think that's, uh, there's, th that <sighs> I was going to go into examples of what would be more threatening than terrorism, but let me just point out to you that the human population of planet Earth is about 7 billion right now. 7 billion into a thousand. That's one in a million. The threat of terrorism, the threat of death due to terrorism, worldwide, is one in a million. That's, that's, that's not even a joke. It's not even a hyperbole. That's not an exaggeration. That's the fact. It's a one in a million threat. What the hell? Quit worrying about it. It's not a war. It's a crime. Not to say that our men and women in the armed forces have anything to to be blamed about anything at all. Uh, I believe the deaths of uh, Americans, at the very least, are friendly folk in the war in the two places over there, counts for about four to 5,000 as well. And over the course of 10 years, in comparison to World War II, is a drop in the bucket. We're kicking ass. Our armed forces are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and they're doing it very, very well. So, long and the sh short of it is, 
Terrorism isn't a threat. Give it up. Quit overreacting because you are making the terrorists win by reacting as you do.